Yo, what's up everybody? Chris coming to you, another one of my crazy crossroads. Big Joey C, my partner in crime. Um, we are back at the house on the hill. Um, last time I was here I was with my neighbor, the attic, completely insane. So I heard, some, I heard from a few people uh, through some comments that this house was actually the owner of the house killed his family and then uh, took his own life up in the attic. Makes a lot of sense. A lot of creepy stuff going on in the attic. The kitchen as well was a little crazy, if you remember correctly, but I'm just so glad that Joe's with me. Um, we can't do this at night, guys. It's just too risky, especially if you saw our video from last night. We're a little bit on edge uh, with, with uh, being shot at. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys on the inside. Actually, we're inside, but I'll see you in two seconds. Boom. Okay guys, so we're in the back. I, um, we're just getting started here. Over here is the kitchen. Um, if I remember correctly, that's where that cabinet opened. Um, we heard some banging. It's actually Wayne, my neighbor. It's okay. You alright? Heard some banging in here as well. But back in this kitchen. Yeah, especially back over here. But look, that cabinet door, dude. Shut on us. This one right here? Yep. Caught it on camera too, by the way. Oh. Yeah, as you can see, there's places around here, so that's why we wanted to film this in the daytime. Could be something if this light this worked. old fashioned stove in place, pretty cool. See, one of the things I love about these videos is seeing old stuff like yeah. this. That's really cool. <clears throat> I'm very anxious to get up into the attic. Um, but I want to show you guys one more time off the back of this house. Very, very, very dangerous. Property. The, the whole back of the house just falls off. But has the most incredible view. I mean, look at that. This must have been such a beautiful home back in the day with probably the best view you can ever imagine. All right, Joe, please be careful, okay? Cause this yeah, this definitely doesn't look too, uh, yeah. too promising, man. Is that the wind? Oh. Oh, dude, that's just... It sounded like a knock up here, and this is the attic. Hey Joe. Hey, 
this door slammed too. Oh, oh, look, look. Well, that, that's probably that's the wind. Probably the yeah, because there was no wind last time we were up here. Yeah. Can you slam that door? <clears throat> Obviously, it is wind. So. Let's look, look, yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that the wind? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Let's see how hard that is. That's weird. That was the wind, guys, I'm sure, but. It slammed, though, last time. Did you hear that knock, though, when I yeah, came up? Yeah, I thought that was you, man. No, okay, so you. that, I'm going to show you where I think that came from. Okay. Not to take you away from what you're doing, but just so you know. Look at this, all right? This is where the attic leads to, right? Let me take a look. Yeah, it's creepy as heck, man. steps look like that. You hear that? What was that? All right, I am. Uh, I'm. I'm just so anxious to get up here. Now look at these stairs. It's not the safest thing. Okay, any spirits up here, you know that I come in peace. I don't know if you remember me. You really, really creeped me out last time we were here. Always, guys, help me out, okay? Whatever you might hear, let me know down below in the comments. This is creepy. Tell me that's you. It's me. It's creepy up here. These stairs are not. No, dude, they're actually, um, you can see the nails coming through. So there's like all these little cubby holes throughout. Okay, so I opened this door last time, Joe, mm -hmm. and it was a creepy sound that came out. All right, if there's anybody in there, any spirits? Coming in. That's his mental, but I hear like, I don't know if it's a female sound. <coughs> oh, it's good for you. I'm 
much. like there's some kind of weird presence in here. And I also think I keep hearing something in this room. The knocks and bangs and everything are right above the stairs there. And that's how it was last time we were here as well. So let's just give it a second and be quiet and see if we can hear anything. Creepy gusts. There's a female voice in here. Really? All right, so there was that. I thought I heard female voice downstairs. There's, really? So the wind, the wind is real creepy, by the way. It's a woo, and then I swear I hear a female voice. Like, I don't know. That's the wind. wind settles. This is a little kid's work. Yeah. Did you hear something still here you go? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. What was that you? I don't know. I don't know if I heard here you go, but I heard, I'm telling you, I hear stuff. Go. There's definitely voices in here. What's really cool is there's definitely why I thought I just heard something go here. Now, I'm gonna try the next one I got in this trigger option. No, 
whether or not this story to be true. But wow, it would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? There it is again. What was that? It's a knock right over here. Necrophonic app. Unless I kick today. Tell us anything about this place. Ah, this is just breaking. What happened here? Is there truth in the story? It said Joe, hold on. Did somebody take their family's life here? It said three. Is there anything here that's haunting spirits? And tell me about this shoe. Like, who did it belong to? person's name who owned this shoe? That's a great closing doors, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I'm going to shut this off because I don't know what's picking up anything and maybe I'll pick up something else. It's like from another time. Look at this. It seems like a kid shoe or something with really, really small feet. I'm not sure what it is. the third time. Oh. oh. You heard that? Uh -uh. What did you just hear? Holy crap. So 
So that that could that could be the wind, right? Just knocking something. The wind is really strong, so I mean those banks. I don't know. Could be anything. Creepy, How many right? times I've banged my head in here, it's like low ceilings. Yeah. Not definitely made for somebody who's tall. Would you Creepy. try to communicate with us? That was definitely, that stuff. was wind. That's wind. That's wind. There's wind that could be broken glass. There was a dumb waiter. <laughs> so this one, this uh, house was great when we uh, played it back. I heard a ton of stuff on my headphones. It's gonna be a little hard to distinguish, I believe, some of it with the wind, but. Listen very carefully. You're gonna be able to help me pick some stuff out. And these stairs without the rail and this very little bit of room to really maneuver around. And let's say if you fall to the right, you fall down in that garbage. You fall to the left and you're gone. So definitely scary. And you see like these shards of glass. So I'm thinking maybe the wind might have blown some of the Yeah, I'm fine. Just stepping on stuff. I'm good. All right. I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of fill you guys in on a little bit what happened in our last video last night. Um, we were in an area in North Carolina and uh, just an abandoned house. It must have been abandoned for years. And um, nothing, no po nothing posted or anything like that. Um, it looks like it looked like around that house there were trees that were uh, recently taken down. Um, but we were literally nine minutes into that video, and it just, it was, I think we counted three to four gunshots, and it was horrific. I mean, because it wasn't. We've heard gunshot before, but it's, it was always like in the distant. Um, this was right behind us. 
So um, those shots were really, really scary, really close. So after we heard the three shots, we were actually in the basement area. And I think all three of us ducked to go back into the basement. And within a second, we all realized we do that, we're trapped. Um, so it seems nuts watching it back now that we ran out toward where the um, shots were fired. Uh, almost certain that we heard those shots hitting the house as well. So somebody was right there and somebody was right on us. And we knew it right away. We knew there was a bad vibe. We felt like there was something or, or someone or a group of people. We, didn't, we weren't sure. We just felt like we weren't alone. It was just a very, very sketchy uh, situation. So we're very grateful to be okay and get out of there. Um, it's different. So being here in the Carolinas, you know, it, we're in a different turf. And uh, so I noticed we've been shooting a lot, um, a lot of videos in daylight. Um, uh, mostly every video that we've done so far, we've, we've had permission or someone has told us to go in and check the place out. Uh, needless to say, we see abandoned buildings, we'll go in them. Um, that's what we do. Uh, unless it, unless they're posted for us to stay out or anything like that um, but i think it's such a rural area and the properties are so um they're so uh so big um there could be an old abandoned house and we think it's abandoned and no one's on the property and and then um the same people that that owned that property could have a newer house on the backside of all these acres, so. That being said, we really, I really did want to come here at night and do the video, but we can't. There's too much going on around here, and this house sits so high up on this hill. Um, it would look like a laser beam show with all our lights at night. Um, and we, we don't want to distract the families that live across from this home. Um, so, go back in this kitchen and check it out. The wind is a lot more strong than it was <coughs> the last time we were here. That thing came flying close. Remember, this was moving. It's not moving now. I don't know if that was anything out of the ordinary or paranormal or whatever you want to call it. Um, but if there's something here and you want to make yourself known, can you shut that cabinet again? Gorgeous view.
And then if you see out there, you can see there's houses there. There's a house over there. And then there's another one back there, so. That's why we can't film here at night. Is that you? Joe seems to think he hears whispers. I, when I've been hearing stuff, it sounds pretty clear. <clears throat> but it definitely doesn't seem as bad as the last time. <clears throat> so right now I feel like <coughs> the mold <clears throat> All right, I had to cut off for a second I'm trying to drink about anywhere from 70 to 90 ounces of water every day and uh, my bladder reminds me that I am being successful in doing so, so. I had to cut off for a little potty break. Hey, Joe? Yeah? Seems really like, it's, I feel like I, I hear <coughs> a couple of voices, but it doesn't seem as bad as it was, or as active as it was last time. Yeah, so I definitely could say I think I heard voices in here. Yeah, it's hard to say, man. So last time we left, I, was, I would say this place seemed extremely haunted to me. Yeah. This time I wouldn't, if I, if I were just in here for the first time, I wouldn't say that. Right, that's kind of my feeling. But in the attic, I got some. Yeah, me too. Like, the attic seemed like it had kind of a ghostly feel, but then again, yeah. it was an attic. And then, um... Those knocks were very similar to last time, so I'm wondering if it were just wind or something, you know. It's hard to say, man. Trying to debunk, you know, what could possibly be, but. Yeah. So it's a little, a little strange. Yeah. Um, my camera cut. Did yours cut off? Yeah, my yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah, we're... I check one last thing and then I say we get out of here. Yeah, wrap it up. We got a long, long ride. It took us, wow, it took us about three hours to get here, guys, so. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut out. <clears throat> and truck this up to a uh, cool explore. But it's just not. It's just not like it was uh, the last time I was here. So. Tell you what, I'll, I'd come out here every day just to see that view. That's such a gorgeous view. I gotta turn it this way because of the sun. But um, that's it, guys. I'm gonna be gone for a week. I'm going to Myrtle Beach. Um, so anybody out in Myrtle Beach area, um, I'll be out there all week. Leaving on actually leaving Sunday, Mother's Day, which I was uh, I didn't realize Mother's Day was this this Sunday. But oddly enough, my wife's like, yeah, please do me a favor, leave. <laughs> so it's a good Mother's Day gift for her. Um, so I'll be gone for about a week. I might uh, see how things are going. I'm going out there for bike week. I might come on and do a little live, show you guys around there, um, show you how pretty the area is. Um, these guys, I'm sure, are going to be doing some more filming this week. 
Uh, when we get back, we're going to go right back to it. Uh, the game plan is, is we're just going to keep pumping out videos. There's so much stuff to see. Um, the only downside is, is everything's far. Uh, it takes us hours to get places, but it's what we do. And uh, most of the time, we're very successful when we do get to the places. But there are some times when we drive a couple hours that we can't film what we thought we could film. But um, check out everything down below. I know Mother's Day is here. Um, I just did uh, another cameo yesterday. So if anybody is interested in the cameos, please hit me up. It's down in the description. Um, there's still merchandise out there. I got to update that. Maybe one of these days soon I'll do that. Also, P.O. Box, everything else is down there in the description. Be sure to check everything out. Guys, please do me a favor. Help me grow this channel. Share, 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 share. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. That being said, guys, I will see you next time. Deuces. Love ya.